everyone, Helen here from Helen Kirk and Crafts and welcome to my craft space. Today's video is another craft for the whole family to get involved in. Um, all your crafters can have fun, even your little mini ones, uh, making an Easter bunny pot. Um, so the idea of this is to pop your treats in it um, during the Easter time, but also being able to use it afterwards uh, for other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, show you what tools you'll need and get on with the project. Um, before I do though, I just want to say that I hope everybody is uh, keeping safe, keeping well and keeping crafting. The first tools we're going to use are craft foam this is a pink and a white if you don't have craft foam you could always use um, paper card if you've got card but it's the wrong color you could always paint that before you used it um, but this is just regular fu uh, funky foam from a craft shop then I'm going to use some little artificial flowers that I have again if you don't have something like this you could use crepe paper tissue paper even card just to cut out your own um, sort of freehand flowers so that's those. Then I have got my um, terracotta pot here. Now, if you don't have a pot, a terracotta pot like this, you could always use an old egg cup. Um, you could use a litre bottle and then cut the top off and use the base and you could paint that white. Um, you could use um, any old thing that you've got really that works as a pot, uh, maybe an old mug, um, things like that, that you can make white. Then some essential tools will be some scissors, a paintbrush and a pen those some things that you'll need then for the paint you're going to need some white paint some pink paint and then what i've got here is a paint pen um this is a posca paint pen uh, which if you obviously if you've got one that's great if you haven't you could use a permanent marker like a sharpie or something like that or even just some black paint and a paintbrush if you wanted to paint your own features in and then Finally, oh no, not finally, we've got one more. Um, we've got the uh, earbuds, the Q-tip things uh, for painting with. If you're looking for another project to do with the family, I've also got a project which I will put the um, information in the description below um, for a rainbow trail, trail project and that is on my channel. And again, you're going to be using these things for that as well. And then finally, we've got a little um, old Christmas hat. This was something that we had at Christmas that you put utensils in. Um, so I'm going to actually cut it off and use the bobble on top. If you don't have something like this, you could use craft pom-poms. You could make your own pom-poms. Um, you could use crunched up tissue paper. Um, you know, you could actually just paint the um, the 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 ball ball which is going to be the tail um on the the pot as well it's completely up to you there's lots of options and you also need some sort of um glue i'm going to be using a hot glue gun um but please obviously be aware if you're doing this for the kids this might be something the adults get involved in or the older children um and if you haven't got a glue gun you could also use sort of pva glue um craft glue but obviously it will take slightly longer to dry than if you used a hot glue gun so just wait that little bit longer to make the, the pieces to dry okay so i'm now going to get on with our project so i'm just going to start by painting our pot in white um so while we're doing the rest of the project we can let this dry
thank you so much everybody for watching um so here we have our finished easter bunny pot um i realized that halfway through the project that i forgot to say that i'd used googly eyes so you will also need googly eyes um but you know as i said in previous projects i love any time i can put googly eyes on something so there we go she has some eyes um, and what i've got i've got my little easter egg in here ready for sunday but obviously i like the idea that you know we like to get more out of um something than just one project so what i probably do once easter is over i take my little pot and i could either add some flower a little a pot plant in it um or I could put paint brushes or pens and put it on my craft desk and uh, get sort of a second use out of it. I really love doing that actually and I think that I've got ideas uh, for doing other things. I think it would be really cool to do maybe a chick um, if I can get another pot or um, a little dog sort of uh, with ears maybe on the side. So there's other ideas as well that could take this craft um, outside of just the Easter. So thank you so much again for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you do um, do your own uh, Easter Bunny pot, I'd really love to see your creations. So you can find me on social media at Helen Kirkham Crafts. That's a Helen Kirkham Crafts. And if you want to pop your uh, creations down in the comments there on social media, I'd love to see them. Um, but if you want more videos, information of when I put no more videos on, just hit subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I'm on again. But again, thanks so much for watching. Keep safe. Bye.